the amount of time that you spend with students is really nice. Um, obviously, they, they're they here, they live here, and so it's really nice to be able to uh, run into them when you go outside, when you go eat, uh, you get a little bit more interaction with them. It's a very small community here, actually, and so we see everybody pretty often, and we become pretty close. In particular for me, I am a, a Spanish teacher, and so I do place a lot of emphasis on talking, and the size of the classroom allows me to be able to speak to every single one of my students every single day. Uh, no one gets to, <laughs> to not speak Spanish for a day, so it's really, really nice to have a good-sized classroom like we do here. I would say it's actually it's a pleasure when I hear them speak Spanish, uh, and I tell this to every single class that I have, is to not be afraid to, to make errors and to, to speak freely, even if it's not perfect. I think that's the most important and oftentimes the most difficult thing to do with language. It's, it's that fear that we feel to, to sound silly or to make errors. And so that's the thing that makes me most proud is when I'm actually out and about and I hear students just uh, say a few uh, words in Spanish and really be free. They're using it with their friends, they're using it outside of the classroom and that's the whole point. Uh, even if it's not perfect, I'm happy when they are actually using what, uh, what I'm trying to teach them in, in the real world. They, they teach me how to be a better teacher, actually. So a lot of them have taken Spanish before. I've asked them, what is it that you liked in your previous Spanish classes? They have told me. And so I've incorporated a lot of what I do in the classroom from suggestions that students have told me. Uh, so it's, I think it's an ongoing process because I'm currently, this is my job, but I can learn and I'm open to learning from not only my students, but from everyone else. And so I think the reason that I was brought on here is I, I have certain interests that help the community thrive, I would say, a little bit. Uh, everybody does, I would say. And so I personally, I enjoy tennis a lot. I do languages. I also run the French club here. We do a little bit of yoga and meditation as well. And I do think that uh, there are a lot of folks here with similar interests, but also a wide variety of interests. Uh, and so I, I simply bring what I enjoy doing and I like to share it with everybody that's here. It varies, but it's from small interactions, for sure. The best part of my day, it could be from having a class go really well and having really great interaction with my students. It could be on another day when a student that is struggling uh, has done well, whether it's that single day or whether it's on a quiz or on an exam, which is a little bit more important. And so that makes you feel good as a, t as a teacher, as a, just, um, as a person, right? That you could affect a person's life like that, no matter how big, how small. I had a class last year who was quite full and vibrant, full of people. I, had, I think I had about 12 students in that one. During Valentine's Day, I played a song, which was, um, it's an old uh, Spanish song. Uh, it's quite romantic, it's a little bit over the top. I gave them the lyrics for them, and I tend to do this often, and they sometimes enjoy it, sometimes not so much. But in that particular day, everybody was in a great mood, and we ended up singing that song together. The, um, the chorus is actually quite, uh, it's quite catchy. And so right away, my Spanish two students, I believe it was, they started singing the entire song. It became quite loud, so I heard from my, the other, my next door neighbor, the other teacher uh, mentioned that they heard us singing. It was just this natural thing, and we all uh, had a little karaoke uh, during class, and I really, that was a nice moment.